All right, guys, we fished today. Catch, clean, cook. Here's the video. All right, y'all. So, uh, Mikey was using the net that Eli has, and uh, it's over there, and he caught a pretty yeah. good sized bass. We're gonna let this guy go. Yeah, we thought the uh, we thought the net was stuck on the rocks, but it was um, it was the fish. But we're gonna let that guy go. I don't know what he's doing, but we'll see. Yeah, there we go. But all right, y'all. We'll get back to you. We're gonna try to catch some catfish. All right, guys. Or Mike caught a bass on the broad. Bobber. Tiny guy. Tiny guy on the yeah, bobber. Really tiny guy. All right, guys. We've been fishing. Just caught another dink. Tiny little bass. We are going to do a catch clean cook when we get back though. So stay tuned for the catch clean cook. Eli just rode in a pretty good sized bass. Yeah, it's getting dark out. Look at its eyes and everything. We're going to head out. Uh, here, I'll show them the, we caught a lot of blue gallon stuff today. Open it in case there's still some alive. All right, well, we'll show you guys when we get back yeah. to the house. Last look at the bass, we're going to put him back in the water. Nice little bass, getting dark out, get the release. All right, guys, let's see. All right, y'all. We'll let that guy go. There he goes. All right, guys, we'll get back to you at the house. All right, YouTube, we just got home, and hold on, let me show you guys. Tons of There's so many under there, and uh, we're about to get him ready. He's about to bleed him out and stuff, but uh, should I end it and get back to him? Yeah. All right, we're going to get back to you when they're all... Because we don't want to get a strike on YouTube, so we're not going to show you the bags, Anyway, that's but... a pretty good size one, but, but we hey. also got We also have not only bluegill, but we have three crappy, I'm pretty sure. So I think... Oh, yeah, I can't show you that part, but... We have three crappies over there. We'll get them monetized. Yeah, we have three crappies and about probably eight bluegill. So we're gonna cut these up and- All right guys, start. we're over here now. We're, we just got the, they're all bled out. We're just washing them out real fast. We got them all in the bucket. We have, we counted, uh, I think we got, wait, let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. We got 13 fish all together. So. All right, we'll get it. back to you after this. All right, y'all. All right, you guys, this is his first attempt. And it's pretty good for, you never did this before? Not really. So that's pretty good. And there's a lot more. So we'll get back to you when we have some more cut up. Alright guys, I just got done cutting the other side of that crappy. Nice little fillet out of it. I mean, get it in the bag. Small we got, fish. We got one bag right here. We have this will be the crappy meat because we have three crappy. And then we have another bag in the freezer right now. Uh, we got a lot of bluegill meat in stuff. So. I don't know if we have to cover that, but that's the scraps. Alright, so there's the remains right there. I'll show you the bucket real fast. We got how many left? Probably like six, something like that. Yeah. Oh, uh, it's this is like really hard, like because they're so small, it really sucks. And um, the meat we got is like it's not much at all. But once we get them all cleaned and like cooked up and uh, stuff like that, we bread them and stuff. I mean, I guess we'll have a decent amount of meat. So Eli's gonna keep cutting them up. Um, he's cutting. I'm washing and putting them in the bag. So right, Eli's right here. He's gonna show you guys how to cut one. So so cut it towards his head on an angle down. Then find the, the backbone with your knife, cut along its spine, the whole way down to the tail, and just break it off right there. Then come down to where you cut before. Do not go deep though, because you don't want to get any guts. It will stink and be unnecessary. Then when you're done, Come back to the top, see what you have, like slowly chip away at it and try to get it to come out. I'm not the best at it, but I do know what to do for the most part. So. so it's pretty easy once you get that off. Cut that off of us. You know, show you what to do. <clears throat> it's pretty easy, but it it, it does suck with these, these little ones. It sucks with like just gutting them in general. And, you know, getting them, flaying them and stuff. It takes so much time, but 
It'll be worth it. It's gonna be good. Hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. I mean, we're gonna we're gonna probably <clears throat> we're gonna make a few different batters, try some different ones out, see what we like the best, and then we also like we said we have the bluegill meat and crappie meat, so we'll be able to try them out, see what one we like better. So and this little chunk. So there's a chunk of meat right there. Then you wanna like find like can I don't, can you guys see like the line right there? Then we're not really messing with that stuff today. We're just taking the fillets. Then oh, we'll be left with something like like this size. Obviously, you're gonna have a much bigger fish most of the time, but we just wanted to get a nice little catch clean cookout just to switch things up on the channel. Then you gotta bring it over here. Wash it off, give it a good wash. Then bring it back over here and go underneath the meat, close to the skin. This is the most annoying part about all this. All right, you guys get the idea. This part takes way too long. Anyways, you gotta get the, the skin off of the meat, and then once you get the meat, you're good. Well, that was pretty bad. Really bad, actually. Don't do what I do. There's still some more on here. I'm gonna try to get it off. some more that was a bad example but you guys get the idea so we know we haven't been filleting the whole side of the fish like you're supposed to but that's a probably the best one the whole side right there you can see but we're gonna start cooking soon all the scraps there's nothing but that left and those are too small we're probably gonna use those for bait we might go bass fishing tomorrow you guys probably will see that episode soon not sure. What, what do you choose first? Or All right, guys. If we can feed it here, we're over here. We get it here. Rocky, we're getting ready to fry up the fish. How are you? It's been a long time. It, uh, it's been a little bit last night. We're getting a bowl. We're going to try and get it good tonight. You can give us. I'll show you guys what we're doing here. Thank you, dude. You guys over here getting the bowl. Over here, we're going to. Well, wait. We got our flour. We're going to whip some eggs up real fast. Pour a little bit in the bowl. What are you doing there, bud? Alright, then we'll do, we'll do it here. Get a little flour in there. Then over here, Don't kill us, we got canola oil. Oh, I'll show you what, yeah. what kind it is, but just regular canola oil We're for like frying. And right. hold up, we'll get the thermometer right here. Right here. Job? Job? And we are at perfect. 375. Yeah, the whole way over one in the big. We're good. We can actually turn it down a little bit so it doesn't change your level. All right, never mind. Nothing in there. We need the eggs. Uh, here's our meat. We got bluegill. Over here What's cooking? We got actually a decent amount. Bluegill and our crappie right here. Right. So. Tell me to sub to YouTube to watch this banger. There's our eggs right there. All right, yeah. We're going to start whipping this stuff up. And we'll, once we'll we get it done. Yeah, we'll see you guys. All right, yeah. Bro, you might die. Eli's over here. First fish going in. There we go. Here, I'm gonna show you guys what we're doing over here. Hey, How to do it. Can we get a gift though? Take a piece. Right here we have some crappie. Just put it in, put it in here. Put it in the egg. How long does it take? Take it out. Take it out of the, the egg. Then you put it in the flour. Mix it around the flour real fast. Get it all covered up. Sorry guys, you can't really see. All right, then we got some flour on it. Then right here we have our breadcrumbs. We're gonna put it on our breadcrumbs. These are just regular panko breadcrumbs. Put it in there. Get the breadcrumbs on it. And then here we go. Take it. Put it right in the oil. Right in the fryer. Fry that up. And that's about it. So we'll be doing this for probably 
No, no, this might probably take us like 10 minutes to do all this, and then we'll show you guys the results. So we're gonna get to cooking. All right, guys, the first batch was done. We threw away the other stuff just to be careful because we didn't cook that right. So this first batch is done. It looks pretty good. We got more cooking now. Rocky's chilling on the floor. Rocky, say what's up. Rocky. Yeah, Rocky said what's up. He said go sub after this all video. Right, it's all done. Taste test time. Is it good? What are they like? Hey, I'm gonna try a peach y'all. Guys, I also never ate fish in my life, so it's my first time eating any kind of fish. It's even not bad. It's not bad. Even not fish every hey, day. Hey, we gotta do it like this. Smell? It smells good. Yeah. I'll give it a... Smell? Eight. It smells good. I'll give it, I'll give it a nine. All right, All cheers right. y'all, ready? Cheers y'all. Yeah. It's not bad though. It's not that bad. Very good. A little bit of ketchup maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Very good, tasty. No. This is 10 out of 10. Yo. That what? Was <laughs> what do you get about? Well, you know who we are now. And not really, but. There's another bag. It's not that bad. There's just not enough, like, meat. We need <laughs> some seasoning. Oh, we didn't put salt or pepper. Well, you know who we get are. Get some salt. Get some salt. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's not that bad. You should have seasoned it, though. Get some salt. You don't have any salt. Yeah, you, you do. I used it yesterday. Oh, right here. You moved it up. Flaky salt? No, we don't like flaky salt. Bro. It's iodized. Put some in the ketchup. That's too much, bro. No, it's not. Trust Who me. put salt in their ketchup? You dip it in, so like, you, did, did you eat one of the lighter pieces yet? I'm about to try this. This looks right. fire. That made it better. That was pretty good. Yeah, I'm gonna rate this one to ten, y'all. Mm. Honestly, the ketchup's better. That's definitely at least nine and a half. This is a ten. I swear to God, this right here is a ten, bro. Yeah, yeah actually five. Oh, hey, the lighter pieces sit different. Yeah. Mm. Nine ten. Yeah, I give it nine ten. It's pretty good. We wouldn't lie to you. This is the first catch clean cook. Yeah, and I've never eaten fish, so it's like. Pretty good. His so. first time eating fish, y'all, and he likes it. This is good. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's actually good. I'm dead ass. All right, guys. That's a wrap. Thanks for tuning in. Peace. Bye, Ralph.